Good evening, teacher. I'm still in, in my work. Okay, no problem, Gabriela, no problem. We'll be waiting for you. Vamos a estar esperando. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? Just give me a second, let's see. I'm trying to connect so everybody can again. Okay, let's see, Brian. Hello, Brian, how are you? Teacher, regálame un momentito que ahorita vengo llegando a la casa. Perfect, perfect. Cuando, le, cuando, cuando entré venía entrando a la puerta. Así que... No problem, un no problem. Un Oh, Marvin is still on his way. No problem, Marvin. Just let me know when you get home. Solo me dice cuando llegue a casa. Okay, let's see. Well, I got uh, Brian. Marvin is still on his way. There's Maria Teresa, Karen. Elena, hello, good evening. Hola, good evening. Hello, good evening. How hello. are you? Hello. Um, my day was heavy. Oh, really? Yes. Tell me, what did you do today? 
Um, I made twenty uh, faden bets. No sé cómo se pronuncia, pero quiere decir declaraciones juradas. Okay. Oh, yes. that's Let's see, that's a sworn. I know that word. I know that word. Déjeme recordar, because uh, 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 for a time I remember I was doing uh, translating some documents for lawyers. Recuerdo que hubo un tiempo que estuve traduciendo para abogados. Entonces recuerdo parte de ese vocabulario. It's a sworn statement. Repeat, please. Sorry. Statement. Sworn. Statement. Ah. Yes, a sworn statement. Yeah, once I was working for, for lawyers, you know, uh, antes uh, hubo un tiempo que yo traducía para documentos legales. Ah, okay. Interesante. I have done that. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's actually good business. Buen negocio. Sí. Ah, sí. It is because I mean we charge by word porque cobramos por palabra. Sí, así cobran las traducciones yeah. por palabra. Yeah, it's just that it's, it's tedious. It's un poquito tedioso. It's correct. It's tedious, but yeah, I have done that. Lo he hecho un par de ocasiones. It's very interesting. Yes. And the, the thing is this, that the vocabulary is very specific. El vocabulary is muy specific. Mostly I have, uh, well, I have translated documents that people send from here to the States. And a couple of times from there to here. To be honest, when I have translated documents from the States, from English to Spanish, uh, usually I do it with the lawyer next to me. A veces lo hago con el abogado a la par, because there are certain terms that in Spanish I don't know. Mm -hmm. So I explain the idea and they tell me the exact term you guys use. Yeah, but it's, también, it's, tam yeah, tell me. Eh, también quería preguntarle cómo se pronuncia, este, por ejemplo, certificar documentos. Oh, certified. Oh. Certifying. Certifying documents. Okay, gracias. Thank you. But well, some people say certifying and some people say certifying. Okay. But it's certifying documents. Yeah, that's it's complex and very delicate. Sí, eh, me tocó certificar. Eh, Cuatro expedientes de medicamentos de más de 200 páginas cada uno. Oh, just that. Este día, ¿so por qué hay que estar firmando, sellando, firmando, sellando, firmando, yeah. sellando? Page by page on the backside, right? Well, some things you do it on the backside or if or in the same page. A veces es en el reverso o en la misma página. Right? At the sí, end of the page. En, generalmente es en la página de frente. Yeah. Página por yeah. página. Yeah, I know, I know. It's also tedious. Pretty tedious. Boring. And it's kind of boring because you're like ceiling signing, ceiling signing. Ah. <laughs> Yeah, but it's part of the job, right? Right. Well, so you were busy today. Okay, and what's the plan for tomorrow? Tomorrow is a weekend. This is the start of the weekend. Do you work Saturdays? Mm, tomorrow, it's uh, go to the work at 12. Bien. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo se diría a mediodía? At noon. At noon. Okay. 
In the afternoon, um, rest. Oh, really? That's nice. On Sunday, what do you what are you going to do on Sunday? Ooh. Very activities. Many. Okay, many activities. Many activities. Well, okay, clean the clean the house. And cooking. And go to the supermarket. Mm. What else? Mi hijo. Okay, take care of my son. Okay, take care. Take care, my son. And rest. And rest. Okay, that's nice. So, many activities. Muchas actividades. Excellent, De thank hecho, you very much. Yes, tell me, tell me. De hecho, si no llueve, pienso ir a caminar un poco al Bicentenario porque ah. tengo varios días de no. <laughs> you and your bad habits. Ustedes son malos hábitos. Yeah, walking. No good. I don't like it. No good. It's no good. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. A mí sí. Yeah, well, what can we do? I mean, you enjoy it, that's okay. That's what really matters, that you enjoy it. Lo que importa que usted lo disfrute. Sí. And that's what it's really important. Okay. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you very much, Atenas. Welcome. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Uh, Xiomara, good evening. How are you? Good evening. I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm just fine, just fine, thank you. Okay, okay. Um, pues me voy con, disculpe que me voy conectando, siempre vengo tarde, vengo corriendo, eh, llegando a la casa. Um, medio voy viendo eh, sobre mi, las tareas de este día. And a meeting with uh, with bosses all day and reviewing closing sales prices and improving improvements the pharmacy. Okay, well, a lot of things. And what about tomorrow? What's the plan for the weekend? Mm. In la mañana, dice. The weekend, the weekend, the fin de semana. What's the plan for the weekend? Oh, um, no sé cómo se dice descanso mañana. Oh, really? Entonces, wow, tomorrow is my day off. How bad, tomorrow of day off. Um, is my day off. Let me text it for you. Is my day off. Tomorrow is my day off. Probablemente, ¿cómo se dice? Salir a comer. Go a pasear. Go to eat. Okay. Go on a trip. Con mi, um, con mi daughter. 
with my daughter. Who? With the my more, daughter. With my daughter. Okay, okay, well, that's nice. Okay, perfect. And where do you like going? I'm the little story. Hmm. Well, ahí donde decida my door. Oh, okay, <laughs> that's nice. And what's her favorite food? Um, food um... What's her favorite food? What is su comida favorita? Um, her daughter, your daughter's. My favorite food is um, carne, pero no sé, no me acuerdo cómo se llama. Meat. Meat, ajá. Uh -huh. My favorite food is meat. Okay. Perfect, perfect, nice. How do you like your meat? ¿Cómo le gusta la carne? Um, de toda forma. No, but I mean well done, muy cocida, ah, medium. Muy cocida. Okay, uh, well done. In that case, it's well done. Like well this, done. let me, let me, let me fix it for you. Well done. Eso es muy cocido. Well Some done. people like it medium. Wow. Me, well I like it, I like it uh, rare. Almost rare. Mm. Rare is mm. like mm, red, todavía roja. Mm. Okay. I like, it, I like it rare. For me, it must be juicy. I don't like it well done for me. That early. <laughs> but actually, a lot of people like it, enjoy it as you do. Uh, well done. Muchas personas les gusta así, bien cocido. Okay. Ahí al gusto de cada quien, ¿verdad? Yeah, of course, of course, of course. Mm -hmm. Well, Shimara, thank you very much. Uh, thank you, teacher. No, thanks to you and welcome. Let's see. Angelica. Hello, Angelica. How are you? Good evening. Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? No, very well. Okay, tell me. How was your day? Uh, working and sell. Work and sell every day. Okay. And what's the plan for the weekend? Say for the weekend. Oh, uh, in the morning work. Okay. Uh, then I have a. Uh, uh, then. Sería como, they I really? have free afternoon. Oh, really? That's yes. cool. And what are you going to do with your free afternoon? Sleep. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. Do you like taking naps? Le gusta tomar siestas. Eh, casi, casi siempre cuando tengo la tarde. Okay, that's nice. How long do you sleep? How long do you usually sleep? ¿Cuánto duermo? Um, 30 minutes. Oh, 30 minutes. Uh -huh. A short nap. Yes. Okay. That's nice. That's nice. That's a nap. Wait. You know, me, I don't like taking naps. Most of my sisters. When I wake up, if I take a nap, so you know what? I wake up with a headache and I feel so bad, very uncomfortable for me. It's muy incomodo. I don't like it. Cuando, si, si algún día trabaja en ventas, 
No va a pensar igual. <laughs> ah, been there, done that. Ya lo he hecho. I was young oh, at that time. I was yeah. young at that time. To be honest, uh, it's not my thing. Para ser honesto, quizás no es lo mío. I mean, selling, selling requires a specific attitude. El trabajar en esta tiene una actitud especial. I mean, you, have, you got to have uh, people skills. Donde uh, gentes. I mean, you're going to make feel the other person comfortable with you, sure with you. You have to convince people. And I don't know. I, I mean, I was not that good for that. That area was not my thing. It's area my thing. Okay. So, I mean, I yes. have worked on sales, but for me, it was hard, pretty hard. I mean, I'm going to do very, very I, difficult. Okay. I have worked on so many different things. Yo he trabajado todo un poquito. Okay. Yeah. I, mean, I like, uh, pero si es, es bastante uh -huh. bastante. Yeah, I know, I know. I mean, it's, as any activity we perform, I mean, they are stressful. They are sort of in a way they are. Okay, guys. Well, thank you very much, Angelica. Welcome. Thank you. Guys, let me get the attendance, the first attendance, please. Okay, Ana Maritza Flores Servillón. Present. Angélica Guadalupe Tobar de Merigara. Present. Braulio Enrique Hernández Sosa. Present, teacher. Thank you. Brian Alexander Rivas Sánchez. Present. Claudia Teresa Flamenco. Elisa Saraí Martínez Ramírez. Esmeralda Lisbeth Vázquez Silva. Gabriela Guadalupe Celaya Sayas. Present teacher. Karen de Sirémen de Sánchez. Present. Catherine Beatriz Morales Calzadillo. Present teacher. Katia Estefanía Pineda Alvarado. Present teacher. María Teresa González de Lemos. Present. Marvin Gabriel Romero Cubías. Present teacher. Milton Antonio García Castellano. Mirna Atenas Vanega Zamora. Present. Rebeca de Carmen Morales Molina. Present teacher. Víctor Manuel Reyes Carvajal and Xiomara Chamilet Mendoza Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's continue. Today is Friday, you know, we are going to spend, well, the, the agenda for tonight. Let's see. First, uh, this one-on-one -on -one conversation with most of you. Primero esta conversación. And then we are going to do some activities from the manual. I mean, we still got some, some work to do there. And tenemos algunas actividades que revisar ahí. And it's going to be quite interesting because, because, on, on Monday, that we finish section two, section two, you are going to, we are going to make a review of the whole unit, of the whole week. I mean, we are going to review, do you remember that PowerPoint presentation I sent you? Okay, presentation for the day. On Tuesday, we are going to review it. La vamos a repasar. We are going to explain the, the, the focus points of the grammar, los puntos más importantes de la gramática, to see if they are like 
really, really understood. And that's gonna be, it's gonna be helpful. It's gonna be quite interesting. So Monday we got uh, a whole review. Donde vamos a estar haciendo repaso, okay? And it's gonna be quite interesting. So today we are going to make mostly activities. So uh, the activities for today are based on the manual, but mostly are going to be asking each other. Más que todos se van a tratar de preguntas respuestas among yourself in two steps. Now I'm going to step it up a notch. Vamos a subir un poquito. Why? I'm going to give you the specific questions that we are going to be asking each other in English. So when I'm jumping from group to group, I want you to minimize to minimize the Spanish. I want you to make the effort to speak the most possible in English. If you just know two expressions, those two expressions are the ones that we are going to use. But the idea is that we are going to be stopping using Spanish the most possible. Why? Because the idea is for you to start speaking in English. In my case, personally, I am going to start speaking a little bit slower. Okay? I am going to start speaking slower. Why? Because I want you to understand me, to listen to me and to understand me without me using the Spanish. It's going to be a little bit difficult at the beginning. I understand it, but don't worry, okay? We are going to make it and it's going to be fun. So relax, relax, don't worry. If we make mistakes, that's okay. Perfect, no problem. The idea is we try to use English as much as possible, okay? Don't worry for the mistakes. No se preocupen por los errores. That's normal, acceptable, and it's perfect. Whenever you make a mistake, I will be correcting you. Cuando cometamos un error, yo les ayudo. Okay? So, don't worry. It's going to be easy. But before that, let's see. Um, um, hello, Katia. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Mm, very fine. Um, okay. I off day. Day off. <laughs> oh, really? You have your day off? Yeah, I Perfect. am happy. <laughs> You're happy because you have your day off. Nice. Sí, sí, sí. Excellent. What did you do today? Very muy bien, muy bien. Por ejemplo, salí, pero cómo le puedo decir esa palabra? Um, ya le digo cuánto. I went Ay. out. I went out. I went I went out a uh, Metro Centro. Okay, so you went to the mall. You went to mm -hmm. the mall. Okay, mall. The word mall, mall means mall. Uh, mall means that. Okay, mm. that's the mall. Mall. Okay. Okay. When um, we went, I went uh, with my son. Oh, really? What did you buy? Eh, si compré algo. Yeah, what? <laughs> did, yes, yes, yes. Did you buy something? Oh, yes. Okay, um, what did you buy? <laughs> okay, oh, I hate going city. to that place. The, uh, going to Dollar uh, City is uh, terrible, terrible. <laughs> You, you get in looking for one thing, one little thing, and you come out with many bags. Terrible. Yeah. It is terrible. Yeah. You, you know, in my house, the same happens to me, like a, 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 
like that happens to my wife at Dollar City and exactly the same situation happens to me if I go to EPA. Uh, when I go to EPA or if I go to Vidria, I start looking at stuff uh, and I want this, I want this, I want this. And then I end up with a lot of stuff. <laughs> Compré impulsivas. <laughs> In my case, it's tools or little things to fix the house, you know, herramientas, mm. tools. Mm. Mm, yo juguete, and, solo juguete. And the situation is this, you know, in my house, uh, uh, almost everything, I, everything that gets broken, I fix it. Mm. I fix En su caso aplica el, el, no es que yo lo, no es solo el que yo lo quiero, sino que realmente lo necesito. Yeah, yeah, you know, the situation is that, uh, look, I'm an electrician. I am an electrician. Uh, I am a plumber. Okay. Do you know electrician? Yes, right? I am an electrician. Uh, I am also a plumber. Plumber. Uh, so I am an electrician. I am a plumber. I I install I installed the the. The ceiling. So mm -hmm. I do all that in my house. Yo todos en casa because I can do all those things. Yo puedo hacer esas cosas. So I mean, uh, like this week. I have, I bought like two weeks ago, yeah, like two weeks ago, I bought some lamps. Hace dos semanas que compré un par de lámparas. This week, I installed them. And so, if I go to those places, I start looking for, for things or tools or herramientas. So, I keep My busy. My wife is but, very, very lucky. No, she's very angry. Because I do it when I feel like, when I am in the mood. El problema es que lo hago cuando yo ando de ánimos. No when she wants. No cuando ella quiere. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah, you know, I have to be on the mood. I can do all those things, but I have to be on the mood. Pero tengo que estar de ánimos. It's like, uh, I'll tell you something funny. Uh, I, have a, I have a sister and there's a pump. Tengo una sister en su segundo. And there's a small leak, hay una pequeña fuga. Since six months ago, <laughs> I never fix it. And the funny thing is that uh, this week uh, I help a, a, a neighbor. Esta semana, uh, I did that job for a neighbor. Hice ese trabajo para un vecino. So, sometimes she complains like, you never work here. And I'm like, you don't pay me. Le digo, no me pagan. If they don't pay me, I don't do it. So, uh, yeah, but that, that situation, for me going to F or to the three is the same as for you to go into the other city. You know that you go looking for one little thing and you come with many bags. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's bad. It's, it's bad for me. Hey, Katia, nice talking to you. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Mira. Okay, Maria Teresa. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? That's great. Great. Okay. How was your day? Um, work. Um, pe, but but se dice pero, verdad? Yep. But this day I left for early. Early? Oh, cool. Yes. 
Okay, what time is early? What time is early? Um, what time is early? At one o'clock. Oh my gosh. Nice. Mm -hmm. What did you do in the afternoon? Um I come to many many things and okay. I wash dishes. Okay. Uh, clean the floor. <laughs> um I sleep in and drink and drink coffee. Okay. And How, it, house chores. House chores. El oficio de la casa. House chores. Mm -hmm. Yeah, house chores. Yeah. House chores. <laughs> but <clears throat> that's something bad. It's not mine. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, I ah. Uh, I don't like doing the dishes. I hate doing the dishes. <laughs> yeah, Why? I, mean, I only do the dishes if they are sick. I do it, no problem. <laughs> but otherwise, pero cualquier otra manera, you know, I find something else that siempre encuentro algo que hacer. I hate <laughs> doing the dishes, always. <laughs> I mean, for me, it's like, uh, a mí tampoco, yeah. pero hay que hacerlo. <laughs> but the good thing in my case is that I have a, a son and he is old. Mi hijo ya está grande. So he's in charge of doing the dishes. Oh. Yeah, well, you know, it's good because uh, like uh, last night, uh, it was just me and him. Uh, he prepared dinner for me. Me preparo cena. Because... I cannot cook. <laughs> well, I can prepare, well, I can prepare maruchan, I can prepare coffee, and that's it. I know. <laughs> Those are my abilities of cooking. That's only the idea of my cocina. You know, I'm, I'm not good at cooking. <laughs> so, how's yours? Well, uh, do you drink a lot of coffee during the day, Maria Teresa? Excuse me? How many, how many cups of coffee do you take on a day? Um, okay, three, three, three cups? Three cups? All day? Okay, three mm -hmm. cups on a regular day. Well, that's not... Me mantienen activa. <laughs> Three cups, come on. <laughs> and you? Oh, well, if I am working, if I am at my job, let's see, one at seven, one at 8.20, one at 10, one at <laughs> noon, one around two, and wow. one around 3 p.m., yeah, one at three, one at five sometimes, this one at eight something, and sometimes, sometimes one before going to sleep. I love drinking coffee. ¿Y puede dormir? As a stone, like a stone. <laughs> I mean, sometimes I take my cup of coffee around midnight. I just take it, go to bed, and three, four minutes after that, I'm asleep yeah it doesn't affect me at all <laughs> yo tengo algo que si yo no tomo café a mí me duele la cabeza oh, hasta que me tomo too. café terrible <laughs> when i am home they don't let me so i just take like three or four on a day and that's uh, bad <laughs> Maria Teresa, nice talking to you. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Oh, Gabriel is still at work. Yeah. I just finished at... Uh, okay. Can we talk right now? Yeah, I can okay. talk. Okay. 
Tell me, who go picks you up? Okay, now I'm going to go My boyfriend? Aha! Uh -huh. mm, interesting, interesting. Straight home, right? Direct to class. Don't deviate. We, we live together. Okay, that's even better. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's in English... In English, you can say my boyfriend, or you can also say uh, in some situations. In a situation, yeah. we use my partner. Okay. Uh, but uh, in this case, in this case, my boyfriend was perfect. Thank you. Uh, well, uh, when people ask me, I sometimes I said my my couple uh, <clears throat> and. Uh, Siempre está la pregunta de, ¿es él o ella? Y yo, ¿él? Yeah, you know, nowadays, nowadays. <laughs> nowadays, hoy en día. That word means hoy en día. Nowadays, nowadays, uh, you know, the question is valid. Yeah. Hoy en día la pregunta es válida. I mean, it's okay, some people... Decide to live like that, and it's okay, right? Yeah, uh, and I said, who oh, is, is he? Oh, yeah, mm. that's cool, because I was going to ask you exactly that. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, okay, nice. Tell me, how long have you been together? Uh, almost two years and a half. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah. Those are the easy ones. Esos son los fáciles. After the third one is the deep. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, it, 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 it's not easy. <laughs> no, of course not. But it's interesting. Ah. It's quite interesting. Yeah, because... It... Do you have kids, Gabriela? Yeah, my boy. How old is he? Nine. Years old. Nine. Oh my yeah. gosh. He's big. Yeah. Uh, they say hi yesterday. Oh yeah, I remember. I remember. Man, nine years old. Yeah. Time flies. El tiempo vuelve. Yeah. I Time miss flies. when he he was a little baby. No, they are so difficult. Well, when they are little babies, they are nice. But between one and three years, man, they are, are terrible. <laughs> yeah, they are little monsters. They are beautiful. We love them, but they are monsters. I mean, little monsters. Uh, they break everything. They throw stuff. Man, you have to be... I mean, you end up with your back hurting. <sighs> Just going after them all the time. They hit in everything. They bump. You know, they bump. Never stop. <laughs> yeah, say well, pants and chopping for Nigo. They bump with everything. The, the electrical outlets. The electrical outlets are always a problem. Yeah. <laughs> Los tomacorrientes, an electrical outlet. They are always a problem with yeah. little kids. They don't stop. Yeah, but it's it's nice. It's nice. I mean, hey. you end up you end up like getting attached to them. Uno se acostumbra. <laughs> they are cool. They are cool. Hey, Gabriela, nice talking to you. Welcome. Oops, Gabriela got frozen. Oh no, there it is. Sorry, sorry. Uh, I, I, my mom just called me. I reject the call because I was in class and I said a lot of times, mom, don't call me about eight because I'm in class. But she do not understand that. <laughs> okay. It's like this, look. I have told her many times. Oh, I okay, have okay. told her many times. Hmm. I have I have told her many times. 
Yep. Okay. I have told her many times. Mm, yeah. Nice phrase, nice phrase. Gabriela, welcome. Nice having mm -hmm. you here. Thank you, it's a pleasure. Okay, let's see. No problem, no problem. Go ahead, go ahead. Gracias. No problem. Rebecca, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Um, tired. Tired? Why? Um, I'm day. Oh, you know your, your your classmates tell me that you in your in your branch you do nothing. Los compañeros no hacen que usted no hace mucho during the day. <laughs> sí. Yeah, um, they, they told me that the position is the easiest one. Que la posición que usted tiene puesto es más fácil. Yeah, they told me that. I am I am. ¿Cómo dice se trabaje? I worked. I worked. Of no, no, the... oh, 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 stop. I worked. I worked. Sí. Lo I otro worked. que me dijo, jamás lo digo. Never, <laughs> never, never. Okay? Uh -huh. I, look at me, worked, worked. Worked. Esa ED me la va a pronunciar como que fuera una T. Worked. Worked. I worked of seven of morning to and seven and of night. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Uh... That's a lot, that's a lot. Okay, and what's the plan for the weekend? What is the plan for tomorrow? Are you going to work tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday? Work, solo trabajar, okay. sábado y domingo, sí. In this case, it's just working. Just Working. Just working. Right. That's life. That's life. Así nos toca. And you, teacher? Me? Hmm. Well, you know, this weekend is easy for me because uh, I am I am I am taking another career at the university. Este, estoy estudiando una nueva carrera. A different one. I'm studying administration. But now uh, this weekend I am in a, the I am in, in post. Yeah, I just finished the first the semester, the terminal semester. And I'm going to start classes at the end of July. Uh, the situation is this that they gave me uh, they accepted some of the subjects from my previous career. Me dieron equivalencia de la carrera anterior. So right now I am in the in the fourth year of administration. So, uh, but this weekend, it's gonna be easy because I just have to teach a class in the morning tomorrow from eight to 12. Then I have to teach another class from 1.30 to 3.30. Then I have a meeting at 4.30 p.m. I finish working around six. After that, I'm going to, I need to check the platform, update my grades, and prepare some classes for next week. And just that, I mean. He, he is very intelligent. Ah, no, uh, not that much, not that much, because if I were, I wouldn't be with so many things. Pásame to do. So un poquito. 
<risa> si lo fuese no tendría tantas cosas que hacer al mismo tiempo. Believe me. The problem is that I'm a workaholic. Uh -huh. Todo esfuerzo vale la pena. I'm a workaholic. Let's see. Work, uh, uh, workaholic. No, I'm a workaholic. I'm addicted to work. So if I'm not busy, I get stressed. Si no estás ocupado, me estreso. That's the Thank problem. You. Like vacation for me is terrible. I hate vacation. I get insomnia in vacation. I mean, I'm insomnia in vacation. Yeah, like uh, in December, in December, I mean the last days of vacation, I am so stressed that I cannot sleep well. I get mm. so stressed. Yeah, I mean, I need to be busy. So it's not that good, believe me, it's not that good. It's not good. Rebecca, welcome. Thank you. Thanks to you. Let's see. Marvin. Hello, Marvin. How are you? Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening, mister. How's everything? How was your day? ¿Qué tal el día? Yep, exactly. It's just I had to inject and please I love the product uh, and why I'm hungry and will go to the country. At las once, no sé si lo dije bien. Advance. Repeat. Repeat it, please. You have to inject medicine. Yes. To give a shot. Okay. We say it like this. I mean, the 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 the, the most. The most uh, 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 common way to say it is like this, look. Uh, hold on. Inject medicine. Eggs. You can also say apply shots or give a shot. Informal, you, say, you can say give a shot. Give a shot. It's the same. It's the same. You can say inject medicine, give a shot. It's the same idea. Equal. Oh, okay. Just that give a shot or apply shot is informal. Okay. Man, I hate those things. I am scary. Okay. <laughs> I am I am scary. I am scary of, of shots, you know. Whenever I, whenever they have to give me a shot, if they have to give me a shot to inject medicine to me, I am a cry baby. <laughs> I, get, I get so nervous. Believe me, I get green. I mean, I start like too anxious. I get so, so, so stressed. I mean, ah. Uh, yes. yes. I hate injections. I hate them. You know, I cannot even see the, 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 the syringe. Uh, I cannot even watch it in movies. Even if I am watching TV and if I see that somebody's getting injected, I get like, uh, I don't watch. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm scared of that. The thing is funny. I'm scared of that. Ya somos dos. <laughs> y yeah, an, no sé cómo se dice, pero Antier, quiero ver si Antier, me hicieron un examen. 25 puyadas me dieron. Hasta oh, loco. The allergies. The crazy. The allergies. The allergies exam. Sí, el. Sí, Antier. The, the allergies. El, el de las alergias. Este? Allergies. 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 The day before yesterday, Antier. You know that word doesn't the exist day, in English. Como dice, the day before yesterday. Before yesterday. Okay, I will switch into Spanish just one second, okay? 
Voy a pasar al español solo un momento. La expresión antier no existe en inglés. No tenemos una palabra específica que exprese esa idea. Todos nosotros sabemos oh, que si okay. en español alguien dice antier, se refiere a el día antes de ayer. Okay. In English you say exactly like that. The day before yesterday. Because the word oh. that you use in Spanish in English does not exist. Ah, no existe en, en English. No. Nope. We don't have oh, a okay. specific, okay. specific word. Yeah. yeah, you know, I had the, a couple of weeks ago, they had me, they gave me, I had to take some exams. They had to take some blood exams for the sugar tolerance. You know, they made me the sugar tolerance exam. Man, that's terrible. Because they they take blue out of you. Second One hour after that, again. Another hour, again. Four times. Four times. And my veins, my veins, my venas, are my venas. Pretty are pretty thin, some with the lens. So it's difficult. In the end, they end up taking it from here. At the moment, en, the en este caso, ¿cómo se diría un examen de botox? Ay, botox mira. exam? Eh, para la migraña, ¿cómo se dice? Migraine, migraine. Ah, exacto, para eso, migraine. Mm. Exam. Botox. Yeah, but I don't like I don't like those exams. I hate blood tests. You know, actually in, in this case we don't say exams. To be to be specific, we say tests. Blood tests. Okay. Because they are not exams, they are tests. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I don't like them. That's why I, I don't like doctors that much. No me agrada mucho los médicos. Por todo. Yeah, you know. Whenever they tell me, okay, you need vitamins, I'm like, pills, please. Si me dicen, necesita vitamina, yo le digo, pills, pills. No injections, no shots, please. Pero no duele mucho. Whatever. <laughs> Yeah, whatever. No, it's not It's not a matter of that it hurts. It doesn't hurt that much. But I don't know why I get so scary. No sé por qué me pongo tan nervioso. I mean, it's, it's just your mind. Hey, Marvin, nice having you here. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Catherine, good evening. Catherine. Okay, let's see. Catherine is not available. Well, guys, let me let me switch back into Spanish just for a second. Pasaré el español solo un instante. If you notice something very interesting, si se han dado cuenta algo muy interesante is that I have spent exactly one hour, tengo una hora, to be talking with all of you individually, estar platicando con todos ustedes individualmente, almost all of you, casi todos. I mean, I was missing a couple, like Esmeralda, Karen, uh, Elisa, Braulio, Brian, but I have spent almost one hour talking to all of you just in English. And you understand, it's even entendido because you've been answering back. That means that no more Spanish. No more Spanish, not acceptable. No, perhaps I will explain some little things in Spanish, like grammar. Tal, quizás algunos puntos gramaticales. Se lo voy a explicar en español. Because those things are kind of tricky. But the most of the class is going to be English complete. Okay, guys? 
it's good for you and it's a better practice for you even if you are just listening if you listen to me and your classmates speaking in english okay something that we do in order to help each other is that uh Okay, something that we do in order to to help when I am explaining something is to to use gestures. It's because sometimes I use them to explain some of the some of the actions that I am explaining, like talking, like walking, right, like thinking, like listening, uh, but. The idea is for us to use English the most possible. Okay, now. Welcome back, Claudia. Hello. Let's, welcome, welcome. Everything okay? ¿Todo bien? Sí, sí, sí. Solo fue un sustito pequeñito. Okay, no problem, no problem. Great. So, cloud for you. Okay, let's Congrats. continue, guys. I need to get the second attendance. Believe it or not, one hour has passed already. Time flies when we have fun. Ana Maritza Flores Arbellón. Present. Angelica Guadalupe Tobar de Melgar. Present. Uh, Braulio Enrique Hernández Sosa. Present, teacher. Brian Alexander Rivas Sánchez. Present. Claudia Teresa Flamenco. Present. Elisa Saraí Martínez Ramírez. Present. Esmeralda Lisbeth Vázquez Silva. Present, teacher. Gabriela Guadalupe Celaya Sayas. Karen de Cire Mingibar de Sánchez. Present. Teacher, I'm here. Thank you, Gabriela. Catherine Beatriz Morales Calzadilla. Katy Estefanía Pineda Alvarado. Present, teacher. María Teresa González de Lemos. Present. Marvin Gabriel Romero Cubillas. Present teacher. Milton Antonio García Castellano. Mirna Atenas Vanega Zamora. Present. Rebeca del Carmen Morales Molina. Present. Víctor Manuel Reyes Carvajal. Xiomara Chamilet Mendoza Mendoza. Present teacher. Present teacher. Thank you, Sumara. Okay, let's see. Uh, 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 let's continue, guys. Let me share with you. We're gonna to go to the manual, to work in the manual right now. And let me see. If you got the manual handy, we are working on the Insafor manual on page number 26, okay? And we are talking about how to use yes, no question in simple present. In this case, we are going to be talking about the third person. Does she ask for assistance? You know, yes, she does, no, she doesn't. Remember when we talk about he, she, or it, like in the case of the company, does our company check the policies? We use the auxiliary does, okay? And you know the short answer, yes, she does, no, she doesn't, yes, he does, no, he doesn't, or yes, it does, no, it doesn't. Okay, the activity, first activity. Create a question based on the answer. Yes, he does. He fixes the AC, the air conditioner on Friday. What are we going to do here? 
we are going to create the question, okay? Like in this case, one option could be like this. In this case, one option could be like, uh, does he fix the AC? Does he fix the AC? The question mark. And you answer, yes, he does. He fixed the AC on Friday. So, similar to this, you need to make the questions for this for answers. Okay? Questions? Okay, perfect. You will have exactly, exactly five minutes for this activity, okay guys? So, let me create the groups. We are going to be working in groups of three members. Let me see. Perfect. Groups are created. Please jump in. Hurry up. Four minutes. No, five minutes. I'm sorry. Five minutes. Does she? Does Does she? 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 Y se pone completo todo porque el ejemplo que usted dio, teacher, eh, la último de on Friday. Oh, yeah, 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 complete, 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 complete. complete. Ah, ok. Yes. Se lo agregaría en dance, dance. Ah, pues ya lo hicimos. Remember the pronunciation, email, email. Email. Dashes, dashes. Uh, send many emails to customer. Customer. Sí. Number yeah. three. Estamos hablando de, de ella nuevamente. Okay. Sería siempre das. Sí, sin, sin la S. Das. Das, das 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 das. Uh -huh. Sería das en she otra vez, ¿verdad? Yes. Das en she clients, ¿verdad? Clean. Solo se le quita. La S se le quita. 
porque lo va a llevar a casa. Así como lo ha hecho en la una, that he fix, ya ha quitado la E y la S. Uh -huh. oh, ok. O pues eso le hacen she. ¿Qué dirían? La tres. Sí. Chiclin. Chiclin. Ajá, the first row. On Floor only. Uh -huh. Igual con en la cuatro con Eric se le va a quitar la S aquí. La cuatro sería, espérame que se me salió de la Está hablando de Eric, este es el siempre. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sería el casi. No. Sí, va. Sí. Sería la cuatro y dos. Das, Eric, keep. Keep track on the cell. Cells. Eric, keep track on the cells. Mm -hmm. Solo la S igual se le va a quitar. Al Kips, ¿verdad? Sí, al Kips. Uh -huh. He doesn't Eric keep trade on the cell. Eric, but does Eric keep that on the cells? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Sí, así sería, va. Sí. No, it is not. Does it mean? No. Sí, 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 Number three, okay, number, number three. three. No, she doesn't, right. she cleans the first floor only. Okay, mm -hmm. does she clean all the floors? All the pieces? Does she clean mm -hmm. all the floors? Or does she clean the second floor? And you say, ah, mm -hmm. oh, no, she doesn't, she cleans the first floor only. Aquí puede variar. Porque yo estaba entendiendo ahí como que si solo preguntaba primero dos en chiclis, como que consultaba si limpiaba todo y después le especificaban que solo limpiaba el primer piso. Yeah, yeah, that's chiclin all the floors, todos los pisos, all the levels. Ah, that chiclin, me dice. That, that could be one option, esa podría ser una opción. Ah, una, all the ah, floors. ah bueno. That's chiclin. Yes, that's she clean all the floors. All the floors. Son de cosas. Finish? Finish. Finish. Perfect. Hello, Esmeralda. Hello, good evening. Mm -hmm. <laughs> gonna be careful with your minutes. Please, please, don't forget. Bye. Mm -hmm. right. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, it's yeah. time. Let's go back. Let's go back. Okay.
Hey, Braulio. Good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How's everything? I'm, I'm sorry. No problem. No problem. That's okay. Well, let's see. Everybody's back now. I'm still waiting. Let's see. 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 14. Now everybody's back. Hmm. I'm missing one. Who's missing? Just by him, Marvin. Okay. Let's continue, guys. Let's do the exercise. Huh? Okay, let's do the exercise. Let's see, Brian. Sentence number one. What you got for me, Brian? Sería. Can I add those? Huh? He fixed fix it. The AC on Friday. Friday. On Friday. Fr Friday. Does he fix? Remember that the ES, remember that this is used just for the affirmative. Okay? Acuérdense que la S se utiliza solo en el afirmativo. Ah. In negative and interrogative, para negativo e interrogativo, it's here. Está aquí, mira. In the auxiliary, se la ponemos en auxiliar. And the verb is in the normal way. Y el verbo está en su forma normal. ¿Ok? So, does he fix the AC on Friday? Perfect. Thank you very much, Brian. Now, let's see, Esmeralda, you got number two. Esmeralda. Does she does 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 uh, she sends many emails to customer. Many emails to customers. Okay. Again, remember that does she send. Remember, guys, that the S that appears here, when it's in a question, goes here. Recordemos que la S, al igual que la ES, desaparece en la pregunta porque va en el auxiliar. El verbo no la tiene. You see? Does she send many emails to customers? Perfect, Esmeralda. Well done. Now, number three, let's see. Ana Maritza. Hello. Number three, please. Does she? Clean. Does she? Clean. The floor only. The floor? Only. Only. Okay, in this case, in este caso, it's very important that we understand the, the answer. La respuesta nos dice no. Ella limpia solamente el primer piso. ¿Cómo podría ser una opción de la pregunta? Does she clean, perhaps, uh, una opción podría ser all the floors? That could be an option. Limpia ella todos los pisos. Does she clean uh, first 
en second floor sería otra opción, vean. Que hay el primero y el segundo piso. No, she doesn't. She cleans the first floor only. ¿Ok? And remember, again, y recordemos de nuevo, la S in cleans disappear. Why? Because comes here. La S no desapareció porque viene acá. Number four. Thank you, Ana Maritza. Perfect. Thank you. Elisa, you got number four. La cuatro. Yep. <clears throat> Does Eric keep track on the cells? Does Eric keep, keep track on the cells? Okay, does Eric keep track, keep track on the cells? That's okay. You know something. You can say it like this. You can say it on cells, and it's okay. Actually, it sounds better. Does Eric keep track on cells? Okay. Okay. Perfect. Number five. Perfect. Thank you. Questions, guys? Preguntas? No? Okay. Now let's continue. Now, guys, something we have done already many, many times. I go okay, things. If you remember yesterday, okay, let's see. If you remember yesterday, we were asking our classmates, what do you do on a specific day, on your day off or on weekends? Recuerden que le preguntamos al compañero que sí, que actividades así. That was the day before yesterday. Yesterday, we were asking our classmates, what do you do on a regular day? ¿Qué es lo que haces en un día normal? The activities, right? Okay, now you're going to write that in a paragraph. Ahora me lo ponen en un paragraph. Okay? That's the activity. To ask questions to a partner about his or her daily routine. So you write a paragraph describing what she or he does or doesn't do. If you remember yesterday, we were also talking about, ayer hacíamos un ejercicio también donde veíamos la actividad que hacía alguien y que no hacía. And we were like answering questions, right? Okay, now, the activity is going to be a little bit complex, okay? I'm going to send you to the groups. I'm going to give you five minutes, about cinco minutos, to ask your classmate and answer and get the information. But you are not going to tell me the information right here. No me la van a decir acá. You're going to write the paragraph. You're going to take a picture. And you're going to send it to me to the group. Y me lo envían al grupo. Okay? You're going to write it down. Escriben. How? ¿Cómo lo voy a escribir? Okay, like this. Let's see. Uh, let's see who's going to be my partner here. Okay, Atenas. Hello, Atenas. Hi. Hello, Atenas. Uh, okay, your name is... Atenas, okay. Atenas, uh, tell me, Atenas, you're a lawyer, right? Yes, I am. Atenas is a lawyer. Okay, tell me, Atenas, what activities do you do? What do you do on a regular in my, day? In my work? So, yeah. Um, May a contract. Okay, so she makes contracts. Uh -huh, what else? Um, what else do you do? Le uh, legal advice. Okay. She 
also, also quiere decir también, she also provides legal advice. Perfect. What else, Atenas? Call a client. Okay. She calls clients. And certified document. And she certifies documents. Okay. Atenas is a lawyer. She makes contracts. She also provides legal advice. Oops, this is not capital. She also provides legal advice. She calls clients and she certifies documents. Okay, that's the homework. Okay. Exactly like that. You see, very, very simple. Muy, muy simple. Eso es lo que van a hacer ustedes. But about another classmate. So, right now, in the five minutes, I'm going to give you what are you going to do. Try to structure. Tratar de estructurar. How? Asking your classmate. Preguntando al compañero. Okay? Taking notes. Tome notas. Because that's your homework. You have until Sunday. Tienen hasta el domingo. To send it to me. Para enviarme. Okay? Just four lines is okay. Cuatro líneas está bien. Right now, I just want you to take notes. Okay? So you can structure. I need you to pay attention to capitals. Quiero que me le presten atención a las mayúsculas. Comas. And period. Y los puntos. Okay? Remember, if you mention a day in English, se mencionan un día de la semana en inglés. Remember, always in capitals. Los días de semana y los meses en inglés inician con mayúscula. In Spanish, they don't. En español, no. But in English, they do. Okay? It's mandatory. So, you will have five minutes to gather information. Tienes un minuto para obtener información. So, hurry up because then we come to another activity. Oh, Gabriela, you cannot participate, right? No problem, no problem. I will send you to another group. Uh, and Gabriela, you go to another group just as a listener, okay? Ladies, Gabriela is here, Gracias. but she's just a listener, okay? Gabriela está solo como listener, okay? Okay. Bye. She make... Vaya, ella... Vaya, después... A mí me cuesta. Ah, ah, ella ah. Ella. Ajá. She checks. Hello, teacher. Ajá. Ella revisa... Eh, Product, product, le ponemos. She, she check yeah. products. She checks products. Yeah. She check. Who? Oh, Rebecca. No, Rebecca doesn't do nothing. No hace nada. She sleeps. Sleep. Vaya, entonces, she check product. La otra actividad. She check product. She check product. Va. Eh, vender, vender. She sell. Hello, teacher. Hello. 
I have a question. Uh, the homework is activities uh, the the work. Yeah, your classmate activities. Not yours, your classmate. La de su compañero. Ah, okay. Like I did, if you notice, I was asking Atenas and I did Atenas activities. Mm -hmm. So you can ask Claudia, Claudia can ask Braulio, Braulio can ask you. Por ejemplo, okay. usted mencionó la de Claudia. Eh, Claudia mencionó la de Braulio, Braulio le preguntó a usted. Ok, perfecto. Claudia. Pero, ¿cómo le hago la pregunta? What do you do? On your job. What do you do? In your job. In. What do you do? Ah, in your. In your. Yeah, you can do that. Mm -hmm. That's terrible. I don't know how you guys do it. Yo no sé cómo le hacen. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I believe you. I believe you. Those doctors write terrible. Yes, yes. Leer recetas. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a special superpower. <laughs> Bye. Ah, uh, solo eso hago. Okay. Uh -huh. oh, Brian, this is Brian, your turn. Uh, ella, okay. ella revisa yeah. al staff, al grupo. Chiches. Teacher, ¿cómo se puede, podríamos decir mm -hmm. cuando, cuando digamos... Chiches no de staff. Chiches de staff. Bien. When the boss is absent. Ajá, cuando está ausente. When, when the boss is absent. Acá que se necesita mandar fotos por WhatsApp. Ahí le podemos poner, eh, entonces, she when the boss is absent. She is in charge. Está a cargo cuando el jefe está ausente. Sí. Right. Ok. She is in charge. She is. She me dijo. She is in charge. In charge. 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 ¿Cómo se escribe su jefe? Teacher. That's a uh, uh, deputy chief. Mm -hmm. so deputy chief. Deputy chief. Deputy chief. Deputy chief. Deputy chief. Bye. A mí ya me salieron las cuatro líneas. A ustedes ya les salieron las cuatro líneas. Sí, ya. Démosle con... Si ah, no, no, con no. La... Vaya, no, eh... Ni a Marixa. Ni a Marixa. Um, ponemos uh -huh. Marixa. Oh, supervisor. I know, I know. Ana Marixa is expecting me to go. Ana Marixa no le gusta que yo esté aquí. I'm gone, I'm gone. She's like, uh, the teacher is here. So, ah, el teacher está aquí. <laughs> <laughs> no.
Me cargo a Angélica. ¿Guac? Eh, ¿Qué cargo lleva? Ah, hay eh, vice manager. Teacher, mm. ¿cómo se dice limpiar vitrina? Clean the, the ah, I told you that yesterday. Ayer les mencioné eso. Showcase, showcase. Show. S-H-O. Showcase. Teacher. Ah. Yes. Ahí abarcaría las dos cosas. Clean, clean the showcase. El verbo limpiar ah, es clean. Okay. Yes, Marvin. Usted pues estaba viendo ahí en la explicación que teníamos que como que agregar lo que es un día de semana, que hizo algo así, le entendí, ¿no? Yeah, if you want. Ahí usted, la idea es que usted me cuente la actividad del compañero. Ok. Vaya, Elisa, ¿qué más? Pues, aparte de cobrar, hacer inventario. ¿Cómo se dice eso? Quiero ver. Inventario. Uh, inventario. Algo así. Inventario. Ajá. Inventario. Algo, algo así. Me acuerdo que la vez pasada dijimos. Eso. Ok. ¿Qué días inventarios de galletas? Domingo. Domingo lo hace. Sí. Un Sunday. Marvi y en Jules Day of. ¿En mi día libre? ¿Qué hace? Ajá. Sleeping. Eh. <risa> Ir a correr se dice. Go to run. Run. ¿Cómo? Go to run. run. Ajá, sí. Run. Run. Media hora. Media hora, una hora. Ir a correr una hora. To run. Okay, guys, next activity.
next activity. For the next activity, let's see, we are just going to make a, a, a small review. I was telling you about the days of the week and the months of the year, okay? This is just a small, a short review we are going to do of that. So, that's something very, very simple. So we are going to review it just like this. The days of the week, you remember, are Monday, Tuesday, which one is next? What is it? Wednesday. Okay. Wednesday. Wednesday. Next one. Thursday. 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 La TH en este caso va a sonar como una Z. Thursday. Thursday. Okay. And you know the next one, Friday. 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 We got after that Saturday. And the last one is Sunday. Sunday. Okay, now let's see. Okay, perfect. So, it goes like this. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I repeat. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Now, we also have the months of the year. We got January, February, March, March April. April. Sorry. You. After May, we got June. Then we have July, August, September, October, November, December. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. I repeat one last time. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Okay. Now let's see. Uh, 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 um. Braulio. Hello, teacher. Braulio, look, I was born in December. When were you born? Uh, what? I, I was born in December. When were you born? Las actividades de mi, de mi compañero. No, 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 no. This is something different. Look at the Zoom chat, Bell chat the Zoom.
When were you born? ¿En qué mes nació? Ah, uh, ok, ok. I was born, I was born in, I was born in August. I was born in August. Ok, perfect. Marvin, when were you born? My birthday is on um, September 20, 22. ¿Cómo es? 22nd. 22nd. <laughs> Perfect. Brian, when were you born? Uh, in March, November 25. Okay, perfect. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Esmeralda, when were you born? I was I was born in May 12. Okay, Angelica, when were you born? I was born in September 23. Okay, September 26. 26. Perfect. Atenas, what about you? When were you born? I was born in May. Okay. May the second. Nice. Let's see, you know, last last course I had a student who was born on Mother's Day. She was sad. She could never celebrate her birthday. Okay, let's see. Xiomara, when were you born? I was born in 20 June. Okay, June. In English, you say first the month and then the day. In English, you say first the month and then the day. Okay? June 20. Okay, perfect. Okay. Excellent. Desire, what about you? When were you born? I was November 6. Okay, I was born. Born November 6, sorry. Okay, perfect. Now let's see. Uh, uh, um, Maria Teresa, when were you born? Yes, I do. I was born in December. In December. Uh, when in December? 20. Mm. Thank you. Now let's see. Claudia, when were you born? Oops. Perhaps not available. And Rebecca, when were you born? I was born in August, August, why? August. August. I was born in August, why? Okay, perfect. So you see, it's very simple, right, guys? Pretty, pretty simple. Okay, now, 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 now. Okay. Now, I got something very different. For you guys. Let me see, give me a second. Okay, guys. Now, the activity now, it's going to be completely different. I got 
four questions. The questions are these. Do you like to eat fruits? What's your favorite one? How often do you eat fresh fruit? In your opinion, what's the most delicious fruit? Okay, today, the questions, I am going to be asking each other here in the, in the group. From Monday on, I will send you to groups to ask each other the questions, okay? Este día yo voy a representar esa conversación para que vean cómo la vamos a ir manejando en los grupos. Pero a partir del lunes, ustedes la van a hacer en los grupos. The idea is for you to start having conversations, okay? I told you the other day, les dije el otro día, les voy a comenzar a dar tema ya para que vayamos getting vocabulary and practicing more, okay? So let's see, let's see. Atenas, do you like to eat fruits? Mm, I like uh, watermelon. Okay, listen, the first question. Do you like to eat fruits? Yes, I do. Or oh, no, sorry. I don't. Yes, I do. Okay, what's your favorite one? My favorite fruit is uh, watermelon. Okay. Now, in your opinion, what's the most delicious fruit? Apple. Apple. Uh, apple. Yes. Apple. Okay. That's fine. Thank you. You're welcome. Now let's see. Gabriela, you're home. Perhaps not yet. Okay. Perfect. Katia. Yes. <laughs> Tell me, Katia, how often do you eat fresh fruit? Cuando menudo. How often do you eat fresh fruit? Mm, more or less. Mm, eh, todos los días, ¿cómo puedo decir? Every day. Every day. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now let's see. Rebecca, thank you, Patty. Rebecca, Monday. what's your what's your favorite fruit? My favorite. Jesús, gua, eh, watermelon, sandía. Okay, my favorite fruit is watermelon. My favorite fruit is watermelon. Okay, perfect. How often do you eat watermelon? Ay, esa pregunta si no la entiendo. How often? Juan a menudo. Do you okay. eat watermelon? Um, una vez por semana, pero no sé cómo se dice. Una vez. Once a week. Once a week. Like Once a week. Once a, week. Once a week. Una vez a la semana. Okay, perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Esmeralda. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Esmeralda. Give me a second. Gabriela, yes? I love the strawberry. Okay, you love strawberry. Tell me, how often do you eat strawberries? Uh, sometimes. <clears throat> and I like uh, 
como es la semilla de paterna. Oh, really? Mm, yeah. Paternas, paternas, mm. seeds, seeds, semillas. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Thank you, I Gabriela. eat, I eat, yeah, yeah. Oh, eh, Tell me, tell me. Almost every day. Oh, wow. You really like them. <laughs> eh, están, estamos en, 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 en la estación de, de, de ella. In season, in the season. Ajá. Y mi suegra la vende, entonces. Voy ah, that's why, that's why. <laughs> okay, perfect. Thank you, Gabriela. Bueno. Now, let's see, let's see. Brian, what about you, Brian? Do you like to eat fruits? Eh... ¿Cómo repitan la pregunta? Do you like to eat fruits? Uh, yes, I do. Okay. What's your favorite fruit? Uh, my favorite fruit, uh, apple y um, uva, ¿cómo se dice? Grapes. Grapes. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Now, Elisa, in your opinion, what's the most delicious fruit? Mm, 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 I love grapes. Grapes. Mm, okay. That's fine. That's fine. You know, guys, my favorite fruit is... Uh, my favorite, favorite fruit is dragon fruit. Don't you like dragon fruit? What is this? You don't know what is dragon fruit? Oh, come on, it's delicious. I don't know. Uh, it's... Uh, Pitaya or pitahaya? Ah. You don't know it, Atenas? Sí. Ching. You don't like it? No like. You don't like it? Man, is delicious. It's my favorite one. It's a little bit expensive, but I love it. That's my favorite one. Now we change topic. Okay, look at the next questions. Look in the Zoom chat, in the, yeah, in the Zoom chat. Now, 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 now. Let's see, Esmeralda, do you like vegetables? Esmeralda, hello. Diga. Do you like vegetables? Sí, me gusta el qué. Vegetables. Look at the Zoom chat. Bell, chat the Zoom. Mm -hmm. Ah, vegetales. Um, yeah, vegetables. Do you like them? Um, uh, algunos, something. Okay. What's your favorite one? Um, ah. Potato. 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 Potato, potato. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's nice. That's nice. I like them fry. French fries is top. I love them. <laughs> sí. Oh, in the they... pita. Ah. Oh, no, no, no. French fries. French fries. I don't like soups. <laughs> soups are not yeah. good. Fritos te va, le va para el corazón. <laughs> yeah, that's the idea. That's the idea. Thank you, Esmeralda. <laughs> Let's see, Karen, decide, tell me, do you like vegetables? Yes, I like. What's your favorite? Um, uh, potato, carrots, ¿cómo se dice san zanahoria? Carrots, carrots, carrots. And broccoli. Oh, oh man, broccoli. Oh. <laughs> I like broccoli, but it's not that good for my health. No es tan bueno para la salud. Sí. 
But uh, yeah, I like it. I like it too. Let's see Anna Maritza. Hello. Tell me Anna Maritza, do you like vegetables? Um, no. She goes like, no, I don't. Say, no, I don't. No, I don't. No. Why not? Why not? Um, I just don't. Simply mention no le gusta. You can say it like this. Look, I just don't. I just don't. No. Eso quería decir, simplemente no me gusta. Okay, I just don't. Okay, well, interesting. Now, guys, how do you like this type of exercises? ¿Qué les parecen este tipo de ejercicios? Are they okay for you? Okay. Yeah, they are, right? Okay, next week, we are going to be working like this. With me and with your classmate. Conmigo y con sus compañeros, okay? I'm going to be... Every class bringing one different topic. Every class is kind of distinct, so we can talk and discuss, okay? And let me get the final payments, guys. Because, believe it or not, time's over. Ana Maritza Flores Arbellón. Present. Angelica Guadalupe Tobal de Melgar. Present. Braulio Enrique Hernández Sosa. Present. Brian Alexander Rivas Sánchez. Present. Claudia Teresa Flamengo. Elisa Saraí Martínez Ramírez. Present. Gabriela Guadalupe Zelaya Sayas. Present. Karen de Sirena Enquivarde Sánchez. Present. Catherine Beatriz Morales Casarillo. Katia Estefanía Pineda Alvarado. Present teacher. María Teresa González de Lemos. Marvin Gabriel Romero Cubillas. Present teacher. Thank you, Marvin. Milton Antonio García Castellano. No Milna está. Atenas Vanegas Castellán. Milna no, Atenas Castellano, Vanegas Zamora, no. Zamora, Zamora, I'm sorry. No, <laughs> Present. No, my, my eyes got twisted, okay? Eh, Rebeca del Carmen Morales Molina. Yeah, I'm Present. sleepy. No, I'm not sleepy. It's early. Thank you, Rebeca. I go to sleep at one. Me duermo a la luna. <laughs> Víctor Manuel Reyes Carvajal. And Xiomara Chemiret, Mendoza, Mendoza. Present yes, teacher. Present teacher. Thank you, Xiomara. The midterm. Okay, if you can do it this weekend, even better. Si el examen que aparece en la plataforma midterm. Cuando usted termina la sección 2, aparece un examen. Si usted lo puede hacer ya, yeah, perfect. Si lo puede hacer de antemano, mejor. Uh, So I did it yesterday. Okay, no problem. No problem. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Para los que aún no lo han hecho y tengan alguna duda, el lunes tenemos repaso general, ¿ok? ¿Y es Angélica? La, la picture I sent to WhatsApp group. Uh, yes, you send it to the WhatsApp Uh, on the latest on Sunday, el último día, el domingo. Okay, that's not going to be greater. Eso no es que vaya a ser una nota, pero me sirve a mí para ayudarles en cómo escribimos todo eso, okay? okay. If, there's, if there's no any other question, guys, it was a pleasure for me. Teacher. See you Monday. Yes, Gabriela. Sí. ¿La puedo hacer sobre mis actividades? Yes, in your case you can, because you, you didn't have the chance to share with your classmates. En su caso particular, sí puede. 